So a of x y z is equal to sigma of what you what we will be having three comma five six seven. Am I right? This is the problem we we are trying to solve. Am I right? So for that I need to take the three variable map because I am having three variables x y z. Zero one, zero zero, zero one, one one, one zero. So the cell number is zero. So this is the standard template for the three variable map, and I have done this. To solve the problem using K map, first identify number of inputs and draw. Appropriate K map. So this is the first step that we have done. We have identified that there are three inputs, and then we have taken the three input and K. This is the first step, and that we have done, right? So the second step is fill the cells whose output is equal to one. So I need to fill the cells. So to design the standard form SOP equation, we are doing all these things, right? So now I need to fill the cells whose output is one. So what are the different cells I need to fill? I need to fill third cell with the number one, fifth cell with the number one, sixth cell with the number one, and seventh cell with the number one. So whose output is one? I am just filling that particular uh, cells with one. Who's output a one? So this step is clear. So up to second uh, step, it is very easy. The third step, it's a tricky step. You need to group all the ones. So that is your third test. We have we need to group all the ones. Um, so the condition here is we have to form. A big grouping and minimum number of groups. Big group with minimum number of groups. So we need to just go through the problem and we need to identify whether I can form a big group among this one. And this grouping of ones may take only the power of uh, two. So power of two means you can group as um, two power zero. So two power zero is equal to one. So one can be grouped as a single cell. If it is, it cannot be combined with other ones. It can be grouped separately. Okay, it can be grouped separately. Or two power one, two power one is equal to two. So two ones can be grouped, and the ones should be in adjacent. So adjacent ones can be grouped. The next size of each group may be two power two four. So four uh, ones can be grouped, and the group that we are forming should be a square or rectangle. No other shape of group groups is allowed. It should be a square or rectangle. And you can then, if for a bigger problem, it may go. It may group up to eight ones. But in this problem. We are having only four ones, and uh, we are thinking that is all the four ones can be grouped into a single group. No, because uh, if the formulation is like this, if I am having a thing like this, and if I have ones here, if I have a combination of ones here, then what we can do is we can group all these ones as a single group. This grouping is possible, right? Also. If I am having ones like this, if all the four uh, uh, ones in a particular row is occupied, you can group all these four ones as a rectangle. So this is possible. But we cannot group anything as a uh, other shapes. You cannot group like this. You can group only as a square or a rectangle. So this is a condition you need to follow, right? So here. If you want to group two ones, 
if I am having uh, the things like this, how I can group means I can group one with some adjacent ones. And uh, as the K-map is like this, you can imagine the K-map as our world map that we have uh, are purchasing and doing our map work. Hope you have done a map work. In that map, uh, if you see, uh, the left side of the map, the uh, world map will be also having Pacific Ocean. The right side of the map is also having a Pacific Ocean, right? Have you noticed? In our world map. If you buy a map, if you see the, in the map, Pacific Ocean will be located on the elder side of the map, in both the left and right side, right? Because both are connected. Uh, because both are connected and the world is not in rectangular shape. It is in sphere. Circle. So you can imagine that you can bend the map and you can form a loop. So that Pacific Ocean will be connected. Okay. So original thing is like that. In similar to that mapping, here also we can bend this K map. Because if you see these two combinations, if you see these uh, 0, 0 and 1, 0 combination, this can be bent by this direction and if you see again, it is in grayscale. There is only one bit uh, difference. Right? So, for uh, similarly for a 4 variable map, if you are having a 4 variable map, this can be seen as a folded page and again, this can be also seen as a folded page. You can fold in either way. Our k map can be folded as either way. So what is I am trying to do is, the first row is adjacent to last row. The first column is adjacent to last column. It is, but it is not physically we can see. The first column is connected adjacent to this column. Okay. So in this uh, basics, we are going to apply to find the adjacent ones for grouping. So why I am saying all these things is, uh, if you understand this one, the grouping of uh, one is even uh, very easier by inspecting the first and last column as well as rows also. So now, if there are uh, any possibility of grouping all the fours, all the four ones, can I group all the four ones in this problem? Is it possible? No, I cannot uh, group four ones. So, I need to, uh, my condition for grouping all the ones is, all ones should be grouped, right, and minimum number of groups should be given. So, can anyone say what are the different uh, mintons can be grouped here? So, for grouping, you first start with the uh, ones which is located far away. So, I am starting with the six, and the six can be grouped with the... Uh, this seven. So these two ones can be grouped. So this is one possibility. And if I come to this one, this one can be again grouped with this one. Coming to the uh, this third one, this one also can be grouped with this one. So here I have grouped, I have obtained three blocks. I have obtained three blocks with red color, yellow color and blue color and all the ones have been covered. Do you have any doubt how I have grouped here? So this grouping is very important so that uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, group all the ones and we need to, need to generate the expression for each and every group, right? So now we are going to generate the expression for each and every block, right? Uh, suppose when we consider the... Uh, first I, I just take the red block. So what is the expression for this red block? So how to generate the expression in sum of product? If you see, uh, now what I am going to do is for the red block, I am just extending the red block and seeing the variable in this particular row. So, if you see in that particular row, x equal to 1. So that is the variable I am having. So if the variable is value is 1, take the variable as it is. So I am taking the variable as it is. If the value of the variable is 0, then we have to take the complement. So uh, uh, here x equal to 1, so I am taking the x as it is. 
now what I am going to do is I am going to extend this red block as a column wise. So if I extend it column wise, I can see which columns are connected. Third and fourth are now connected. So the value of the third column is one one. The value of y is it in fourth column is one zero. So this is the value of y is it. This is the value of y is and fourth column. Now which variable is changing? Which variable is not changing? If you see the values, y is not changing. The value of y is one in both the columns. What is the value of z? Value of z is one in the third column, and value of z is zero in the fourth column. So our rule is: if variable value changes, so if variable value changes, you need to ignore that variable. So that variable won't come in our expression. So non-changing. Non-changing value, non-changing value variable should be taken for the expression. So non-changing variable is taken in expression. And if the value of that variable is equal to one, take the variable as it is. If the value of the variable is equal to zero, take the complement of the variable. So this is the logic we are going to use. So under this logic, what is the variable I have to obtain here? I have to write x y. So the expression for red block is x y. How I get x y? I first see the row wise. Row wise, there is only one variable x. x the value of x is one, so I am taking x. So if I see the columns, it is uh, the red block covers two columns. In that two columns, the non-changing variable is y, and the value of that y is equal to one. So I am taking the y as s. So this is the logic I, I need to use. So uh, applying the same logic to the yellow block. Extending the row side, row value is x equal to one, so I am taking x. If I see the column, second column and third column is uh, used, and the value which is not changing is for z, and the value is one for the second column and third column. So because value of y is changing, so we omit y. So the expression is only z. Now coming to the third block, blue block. So if I extend this row wise, if you see x value is changing. X is taking zero in the first row and X is taking one is in second row. So for this blue block, the X won't come because X value is changing. And if you see the column, it is covering only one column. So I am going to take all the variables in that one column. So in that one column, the value of uh, Y is one, Z is one. So the expression for that particular block is Y Z. So the overall expression A, so the expression for A is equal to x y plus x z plus y z. So this is the expression. So for the same problem, we are obtaining some expression in standard S O P form. So here we are generating the expression in standard S O P form, right?